All right, before we get started, I want to let you guys know that there will be a link below to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip and all that good stuff. So go by and pre-order now and you can get up to $200 off of that order. With that being said, let's jump right into this video. But what's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and right here in front of me, we have the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, I had the 2, I got the 3, and we are just waiting on the 4 to see what it's gonna be like. So today, I'm gonna give you my speculations. We'll talk a little bit about this one and how it's done over the past year or so. And I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to in that new one. So let's jump right into it. So as far as my speculations, now I've seen a lot of stuff online as far as S Pen being able to go directly into this device at this point. I've seen a few things about water resistance being upgraded. I've seen a few things about smaller form factor, thinner bezels. I've seen a thinner phone altogether, which we know it's is it's it's pretty you know bulky at sometimes, especially when you put a case on it. But we've seen all those things. So. As far as speculations go, I, I like to just wait and see what Samsung is going to give us when we have unpacked. I just, I like to see that. I like to know that they have all this under control and when, when unpacked comes, we're going to get the full story. I don't like the speculations and all that stuff because sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, but for the most part, some things do get missed. Unless you're Google. <laughs> well, that's another story. But, um... As far as speculations, I'm hoping that we are going to get S Pen inside this device. I'm hoping that we're going to get a little bit smaller bezel and to screen ratio. And I'm hoping that this gets a little bit lighter, a little longer battery, and that it's a little bit more thin, a little bit more compact. I'm hoping that. Now, let's talk about this one and how it has actually held up over the past year because I really have enjoyed using this device. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my go-tos and this is the one that gets heads turning. So if we take a quick look at this one, this is the generation three of the Z Fold family. Now, I love the fact that when you open this thing up, you basically get a tablet. You, you get a tablet, let's just call it like it is. But this thing is perfect for multitasking, it's perfect for uh, entertainment. And like, let's say if you have one thing open, and let's just get this, and we are going to just kill that screen there, and we're gonna turn that that way, and you actually get multitasking right about now and I'm just gonna hold that just like that so you can see it but your screen is gonna be up top and you can scroll through comments and other videos down bottom you can actually do this with zoom you open this up and it changes the view putting videos now over here so this thing has a lot to offer when you look at the functionality of it entertainment productivity you name it it does it if you're a student this thing is gonna be perfect because you can pair it with your S Pen you can take notes on the go. And this is like, like I said, this is, this is the S Pen or there's another size S Pen that's a little bit smaller, but this one is the S Pen Pro. Now this one actually works with multiple devices. So it'll work with your S22 Ultras, your Galaxy Books, your tabs and all that good stuff. All you have to do is flip that toggle and that's where you're gonna get the change. But due to the sensitivity of this screen, you gotta kinda flip the switch and remember all that good stuff. So that's one of the biggest things. If we could get this S Pen directly in here, that'd be perfect. Next thing, um, as far as battery and screen quality. The screen quality, battery life, perfect. The refresh rate on here, 120 hertz, you cannot get anything better. It's buttery smooth and the Refresh rate does not kill the battery. This thing has all day battery life. I've never had an issue with it just dying unless I'm just sitting around just watching videos all day. And form factor is really nice, really easy, compact, really good to hold in your hand. 
even when you have it in this mode, it's still not too thick, but it does get a little cumbersome when you add a case to it. And since this is an $1,800 phone, um, hopefully you guys have a case on this. I don't normally just rock it naked. Uh, it's just because of this video that it is going to look like this. So um, the form factor could stay the same, but I'm thinking that it's gonna get a little bit smaller, a little bit more thin. And if we can kind of cut out the bulge right here on the hinge and kind of make this flush, that would improve. But if we make this thinner, add an S Pen, we're good to go. It already has a water resistance rating at this point. It can get a little water on it, but you don't have to worry about that. I don't take this around too much water. Um, but for the past year, this has really held up. It's fast, it's snappy. Uh, it has about 12 gigs of RAM on board. I've had no real issue and that crease, you don't really even notice the crease most of the time. Especially when you're watching movies, you just kind of stand this thing up in its case and you're good to go. So as far as speculation, a lot of people have speculated different things about this thinner, better battery, S Pen inside, which we would love because this thing is huge and you got to put it in a bag. You don't have a, it's, it's no case for that. It, it came with a little case, but it's like nowhere to put it. So this thing has to go in a bag. Now, what I'm looking forward to in this phone, number one, always first and foremost, great screen quality, which I'm sure that's going to be there. I have no doubt that the screen quality is still going to be on point. It's going to be great. No issue there. Battery life. We're looking for all day battery. That's one of the biggest things because when you're using a device like this, this thing doubles as phone, tablet, entertainment, powerhouse, productivity, manager, all that good stuff. So we need all day battery which I'm pretty sure Samsung is gonna give us. Next thing, S Pen. I've said this for two years in a row now. If this device could have the S Pen housed inside of it with all the features that it has now, this is the perfect device to carry on a daily basis. S Pen on the inside. That is the other thing that I'm looking forward to. And everything else is pretty much just cosmetics and little things like bezel, camera layout, which I really did appreciate. They hid the camera last year, like they hid it right behind the screen. So you really don't even know that the hole punch is there. So that was one of the biggest changes that I really appreciated last year. But the ability to multitask on the go, the ability to be able to be productive, the ability to have two sides of a screen to be used at one time, you can just fold this thing up, sit it in front of you, watch your entertainment, be productive on the bottom half. It does everything that you need to do. And I know a lot of college students kind of jumped on me and they ragged on me and they said, well, you didn't mention this, you didn't mention that. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna mention everything in every video for everyone, but what I will tell you is if you are on the go a lot, just like the average college student will be, this is a great device if you can afford this on a college budget. Now, a lot of you guys are making money out there and a lot of you guys still have the parents factor. <laughs> so if you can get your parents to get you one of these or if you can pick up one on your own and you're in college, bravo for you. Get one of these, it'll kind of make your computer obsolete. So just keep that in mind because this actually does work with Dex. You plug it into a monitor, you get a full computer experience. There you go, you're welcome. So computer, tablet, phone, all in one device, but let's get better battery, smaller form factor, smaller footprint, and let's get S Pen on the inside. The thing that I've been asking for for three years, hopefully it comes true this year and we'll get that S Pen on the inside. But that's pretty much it. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is right around the corner. There's a link below so you can check it out for yourself. Matter of fact, click on that link below and you are going to be able to get up to $200 off if you pre-order. So just keep that in mind. It'll be below. And until next time, hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.